Hello kids and welcome to the division gym today. I need your help to learn about the vocabulary used when we talk about division. Can you guys help me? Great! Let's get started as soon as I... Uh-oh. Ouch. I'm okay. Here is a division problem. And just like multiplication, the numbers used in division have certain names. Today we are going to learn the names we use to describe these, but unlike multiplication, all three numbers have separate names. Do not worry though because we will practice with all three. The 15 in this equation is called the dividend. The dividend is the number you are dividing. So in this example, let's say we have 15 balls. The 15 balls are the dividend. The number 3 in the problem is called the divisor. This is the number we are dividing by. The divisor takes the dividend and breaks it into smaller groups. In this problem, let's say we have three kids that want to share the 15 balls. The three in the problem is the divisor. The number five is the answer and we call this the quotient. This is the number that we get after dividing the dividend by the divisor. So in this example, the 15 balls are the dividend and we need to split them between three kids. The three kids are the divisor and are the ones breaking the 15 balls into smaller groups. The balls are now split evenly into groups of five. Do you remember what the answer is called in a division problem? It is called the quotient. Great job, kids. There are several ways to write a division problem. Let's take a quick look. Here we have three ways to write a division problem. This division problem is exactly the same as the one above. The 15 is the dividend and is found inside this division box. The 3 is the divisor, and the 5 above the division box is the quotient, also known as the answer. Let's look at one last way to show a division problem. Again, this problem is the same as the one above. The 15 is the dividend and is on top of a division bar. The three is the divisor in the problem, and the number five is the quotient. Today we learned a lot of new vocabulary with division, and you guys did awesome. If you ever forget any of these terms, watch the video again. Hope to see you on the next division adventure. Goodbye. Okay guys, you have a few options here. You can click the video on my right or on my left to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh, uh.